have a diagnosis of osteochondritis dissecans, or OCD. OCD is a condition that results from a growth plate that may not properly fuse as you age. Not uncommonly, patients will have a small island of bone and cartilage that never properly fuses with the rest of the joint. We see OCD in the knee most commonly, but I also see it in the elbow and occasionally in the shoulder. It can also occur in the foot and ankle. When it comes to the knee, it's important to understand that not all OCD is symptomatic. And in fact, if we pick it up on MRI or X-ray, yet patients do not have proper symptoms, we can invoke this concept of skillful neglect. In other words, I'll educate you about the condition, tell you about the symptoms that might be associated with it, such as weight-bearing and activity-related pain or swelling or locking, and as long as you have none of those symptoms, I might encourage you to continue to remain active in all of the activities that you enjoy. Alternatively, if you have the proper symptoms associated with OCD, I might recommend surgical intervention. Patients who are very young with OCD typically have an area of bone and cartilage that hasn't quite fused, but isn't grossly unstable. In those patients at the time of arthroscopy, it might even be difficult to identify where the defect is. This unfused bone cartilage region will sometimes be responsive to simple drilling around or through the defect, in addition to placement of a biologic or biocomposite screw. This is a screw that will resorb over time. This has been very effective treatment for patients who have a stable OCD defect that doesn't require removal of the piece or actually opening up of the defect host interface. In other words, the space between the defect itself and the socket that it otherwise is meant to be sitting in. Alternatively, this piece may be very unstable. We go through every effort to try to fix that piece of bone and cartilage into the defect bed when it requires fixation. In that setting, arthroscopically, we might elevate the piece, clean off the base, drill small holes to induce access to your body's stem cells, and use metallic screws to compress the defect into its bed. If we do this procedure, we might ask that you restrict your weight bearing postoperatively for six to eight weeks. We may also ask you to return to the operating room to remove the screws. The reason we do that at or about two months is to make sure that the defect is healed and to make sure that should that defect settle, those screws won't otherwise become prominent. We remove those screws at the time of that surgery. Assuming the defect is fully healed, we then allow you to be full weight bearing. We still restrict your activities for another eight weeks. So in some instances, people who have symptomatic OCD where the piece of bone and cartilage is unstable, it requires two surgeries, one to fix it want to remove the screws with a return to sport timeline of four months. Now, along that treatment pathway, there might be a situation whereby we go in arthroscopically and we have to remove the piece because we cannot repair it because of the extent of the damage. In that instance, there are situations where we may say, look, now that the piece is removed, you are likely to feel better and we will allow you to return to sports and we'll watch it from this point forward. The size and location of the defect will determine the recommendation that subsequently follows if we have to remove that piece of bone and cartilage. Alternatively, if you develop symptoms because the piece is missing and we could not repair it, or we repair it and it breaks free later on, we might recommend a procedure called an osteochondral allograft. That's an operation where we use donated bone and cartilage, the same donors who donate their heart, liver, lungs, we, they also donate their articular cartilage and we fill in the hole that's missing tissue with a cylinder of bone and cartilage from that donor. In most instances, you'll be able to return to all your activities, but what we cannot predict is the exact nature and type of interventions that you'll require over time, but we'll discuss the decision making in the often setting as it relates to the treatment of your OCD. The best orthopedic care starts with the best orthopedic research. I am a proud faculty member in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at Rush University, home to the Midwest's largest team of bone and joint scientists. 
With surgeons and clinicians partnering with elite laboratory researchers and data scientists, we continue to devise new solutions that push the boundaries of what's possible in the treatment of musculoskeletal conditions. Our work informs orthopedic care around the world and is fueled by donors, patients, and families who believe in our research to help more people lead active lives free of pain. To learn more about opportunities to participate in research or become a supporter, please ask a member of my team or visit our website at this address.